Here are Sue and today I'm going to be doing a vlog. So this is the seventh vlog in my channel and today I'm going to the Marvel Studios Exhibition Malaysia. So it is located at Pavilion Kuala Lumpur and I also went to the Marvel Studios Exhibition uh, last year which is located in Singapore Marina Bay Sands. That was quite fun. But yeah, this year there will probably be some uh, new stuff there. Uh, probably with uh, the Avengers Endgame and also the Captain Marvel stuff. I won't be talking throughout the entire video because it will just be awkward to talk in the public. And um, I'll be narrating throughout the entire video and hopefully I do a good job with it or at least uh, an okay job with it but um yeah so I hope you enjoy the video and yeah let, let's go now I'm walking to the mall and you see the big Iron Man statue in the distance and this is the Iron Man statue itself and now I'm at the floor of the venue and you see you have this line right here which is not for the exhibition. So this is how the ticket booth and the entrance looks like. So this is the first room you'll be in when you enter through the entrance and this is where you can make your cart. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is there to register your information and to take your picture in order to make the card. And here they show you all of the MCU movies that have ever been released and their synopsis. And the only update they have here from the Singapore event last year is that they have added 3 more new movies. And the first main section is the Iron Man section and the hallway is the same as last year. So you have the Iron Man Hall of Armors right here which is new, you have the Mark 2, Mark 5, and Mark 6. And you have the table right there with some Iron Man gadgets. So here you have the Iron Man Hall of Armor suit up section which uses projectors and this is not new. And here you have some monitor displays which are shown in Iron Man 2. Here they show off the armors that are featured heavily in the movies. You have the Mark 3. You have the Mark 4. Followed on by the Mark 6. And the Mark 5. Lastly, the Mark II. And now it's randomly selecting an Iron Man suit from the Hall of Armors uh, and project it to the model. And that's it for the Iron Man section. And the next section is the Captain America section. I'm, I'm not sure why I skipped through it so quickly, but they show you all four of the shields. They show you the model of the helicarrier, which is shown last year, and also the model of Captain America punching. And that right there is the Rainbow Bridge. And in the Thor section, they show you the Mjolnir, the Stormbreaker, and Loki's Scepter, and also a model of Thor holding a Stormbreaker. Next is the Doctor Strange section, which you walk through a portal and you will see a mirror dimension version of the Kuala Lumpur skyline.
so the next thing in the Doctor Strange section is the reality bending game tough thing which you can see uh, that guy is playing right there so for the rest of the Doctor Strange section it's a lot of just Sanctum Sanctorum stuff and you have his outfit and yeah a lot of it was shown last year so for the guardians of the galaxy section nothing too interesting the main highlight is the baby group dancing game and exiting the guardians of the galaxy section we head to wakanda So everything shown here including the Black Panther statue was shown last year at Singapore except for the costume. And that is the costume right there. And the next section is the Ant-Man and the Wasp section. And a lot of things shown here they are all new including the Ant-Man statue and also the building. As for the background they show you the Quantum Realm stuff. So right after the Ant-Man section, you have the Captain Marvel section, which they show you two of the outfits that was used in the movie, which is pretty cool, and there's also a game type thing. So this is the Infinity War slash Endgame section, which is uh, a lot of interesting stuff going on here. The Infinity Stone information booth is not new, but the Thanos and the photo slash game booth is new. The Thanos statue is from Endgame and it looks really cool. So the photo slash game booth basically makes you disintegrate like uh, the characters in Infinity War. So by far the coolest display piece in this exhibition is this Stark gauntlet right here which looks really cool and it's on a very nice looking display. So right after that you have the collector's vault which there are a lot of cool stuff in there including some aliens and also the ether. So that's the final exhibit and exiting the collector's vault you have the merchandise uh, store and yeah that is where you can also collect your card. So that is how the view from the mall looks like, it does look pretty good. And there you have an Iron Man statue. Lastly, exiting the merchandise store, you see the MCU cast group photo, which is also shown last year uh, at Singapore. And just came back from the venue, and yeah, quite fun. But I didn't get anything though. But what I did get is this card right here. So yeah, anyone who purchases a Delta ticket will get this card and quite cool actually. You get uh, this Marvel Studios exhibition logo, which is pretty cool. 
and just a child ticket you get some kind of passport or something i'm not really sure but you know that you uh, take home this with you you know it's uh i guess it's some kind of souvenir you know it's pretty cute that you are at least not going back empty-handed unlike uh, last year at singapore and yeah it's actually pretty cool uh that you get something and planning to visit Malaysia or if you live in Malaysia you should definitely visit uh, the Marvel Studios exhibition and yeah uh, you do get a lot of new stuff there even though like half of the stuff there is uh, really shown uh, last year at the Singapore exhibition but quite a fun place and you know you, you get to see a lot of uh, cool stuff there's some stuff that you can play around with and yeah, I mean, my overall th thoughts on it is that it's uh, positive. I think it's great. And yeah, if you're a Marvel fan, you definitely love it. And I definitely recommend anyone who's a Marvel fan to, to the venue. So yeah, uh, and interested, I'll put the details down in the description box below to their website. And um, yeah, I mean, aside from that, uh, there's not much else that I will say here. Um, aside from it's a very cool event and you know if you're a marvel fan you should definitely visit it so i'll put links to all my social media pages down in the description and if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here so that's it for the video thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon